Okay, in this video I'm going to attempt to describe the difference between conventional and climb milling on a milling machine. And I've already got something drawn here on Mastercam. This is a 2x2 two two block with a um, 3 eighths of an inch diameter all the way around it. And so what I'm going to do is, let's look in the top view, and we're going to put a tool path around it, and I'm going to contour around it say okay to that and we're going in this direction the first uh, time I'm going to do it in a conventional direction and let's pick us a tool bit and grab that three quarter right there I've already done it just a while ago so and we're going to be offsetting our cutter to the right depth of cuts I'm going to take like 50 thousandths of cut 0 0.05 and I'll take my lead and lead out off and I'm going to go to a depth of negative 1.0 or 1 inch deep. Now I have a tool path around here so I need to look at it in an isometric view and if I go to simulate I'm going to have my speed turned all the way down and my quality up Now I want you to notice the direction that I'm cutting. My cutter is going to be going in a turning in a clockwise direction, but we are feeding in a counterclockwise direction. That's telling me that the I was supposed to pause. There. We are going in a counterclockwise direction while my cutter is going in a clockwise direction. That is throwing my chips away from the workpiece. I need I don't want to throw anything up into this area here where it's going to climb up onto the workpiece and it's going to break your tool. Now I'm going to speed this up and we will go around and do it in a climb milling fashion, which is what I do not want you to do. Okay. Exit out of that. I'm going to pause the recorder just for a second. Okay, we're back. Now, I'm going to go back to Tool Pass, go to Contour again, and click right here. But this time, instead of going this direction, I want to change my direction of feed. Say OK to that. Grab my tool, same cutter, cut parameter. This time I'm going to be to the left. Depth of cut, same thing. 0 0.05. Lead in, lead out is taken off. Linking parameters, same amount, negative 1.0. Blue apply, green check. Oh, I forgot left my, oh, let's go back and turn that lead in, lead out off. Okay. Another isometric view. Quality up, speed down and play. Now I notice the direction of the cut. This is exactly what I do not want. Yeah, that's a better view. Now if you notice we're going in a clockwise direction. The cutter is cutting in a clockwise direction also. So that's telling me that we're going to be throwing our chips into the wall here right now. Imagine yourself cutting grass. You're going to want to throw your chips away from where you've already cut. You don't want to blow your chips up into the tall grass. This is a or an example of climb milling. Okay, let's pause this again. All 
Okay, we're back. And I just did the same thing again. I want to reinforce conventional milling. Show you the proper direction of that. And I'll say okay to that. Also, here's something from Autodesk Inventor. I drew a 2x2 two two cube, and I have the wall thickness around it uh, 3 eighths of an inch. So, again, we would take, we would go in this direction here, all the way around. If I had a cutter in here, that would be cutting in a clockwise direction machining in a counterclockwise direction. And here it's a little something off the website. Um, conventional milling versus climb milling. There are two methods of milling. Conventional or up milling and climb or down milling. In conventional milling the cutter rotates against the direction of the feed. This method has long been regarded as only practical way to use milling cutters. Not long ago, climb milling was recognized as an acceptable method of operation, but this is only if you are using a CNC milling machine. Okay? Any manual machine, you have to conventional mill, or it's, you're going to climb up onto the workpiece and you're going to break the tool. And I just bought some tools today. A three-quarter inch end mill cutter is $16. So please try not to... Um, break any end mills, especially by climb milling. Okay, that's pretty much it. And